Please follow along as I try to tune my motor's current loop interactively for you. For your reference, my motor's phase inductance is 4.4 millihenries and its resistance is 1.18 ohms. It is a three phase DC brushless motor. I'll start by clearing out the auto tune gains by setting all of the gains equal to zero. And then we'll start by setting the integral gain to a small value, increase it until the natural frequency is satisfactory, and until the response overshoots and oscillates about the commanded current value we put in the magnitude field right here. Let's try to get a natural frequency of at least 200 Hertz, and we will start by setting the integral gain to a small value, 0.1. And we will click do a current loop step and wait for the response. We see that as desired, our response overshoots and oscillates about the target value, which was 3000 bits. This is good, but our natural frequency is nowhere near where we want it to be. It's only 86.91 Hertz. So we should close the window and then increase the integral gain up to 0.3. Again, we will click do a current loop step and wait for the response. We're getting a little bit closer. Natural frequency is 188.83 hertz, but we're still not quite at our goal of 200 hertz, so let's close this, bump up the integral gain a little bit more, and watch the response. We can see now we've exceeded our goal of 200 hertz natural frequency. We're at 212.34 hertz. Now we can start adding some feedback proportional gain to damp the response until we get a damping ratio of about 0.7. We can close this window and then choose a starting back path proportional gain. This depends on your system, but I know from experience that with a motor approximately my size, we can safely start by setting the IPB gain equal to 1. Looks like we have a damping ratio of 0 0.237, not quite high enough, so let's bump the proportional gain up to 3. Getting closer, damping ratio is 0 0.585, so we want to close this and then bump it up a little bit higher. Let's set the proportional gain up to 3.5 and see how it looks. So now we have actually exceeded the damping ratio goal of 0 0.7. We want to back off a little bit so that we're not over damped. Set it equal to 3.4. Now we're at a damping ratio of 0 0.711, which is very close to the ideal damping ratio of 0 0.707. Our tracking should be very sufficient now. I just want to note at this point that if we wanted to favor disturbance rejection over trajectory tracking, we could shift some of this IPB gain into IPF gain, keeping the sum of the two constant. For example, if we set the back path proportional gain to 2.4, and then the forward path to 1, do a current loop step. You can see that the damping ratio and the natural frequencies have not changed significantly. We now favor disturbance projection over trajectory tracking without moving the location of the poles of the closed loop system.